Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Hope you're enjoying your weekend. Late last night there in Kansas, there was a magnitude 3.0 earthquake at 9.49 local time, a depth of only 5 kilometers. 15 people said they felt this earthquake. Here's the felt report. We got the location here. We got Manhattan, one response from there. And Seneca, one from there. Topeka, one. Uh, Perry, Kansas, uh, another from Topeka. Let's see what we got. Hope. And this was not far. Here's we got Hope, too, from Junction City. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Yeah, is it oil-induced from all the fracking that's going on down there in Oklahoma? Could be. Yeah, did you feel this earthquake? Did it startle you? Were you up watching television or doing something else? This earthquake was not far from Hutchinson. And Hutchinson, uh, they do have there um, the two highest volume of Class 1 wells to dispose of waste products by the city's water treatment plant. Yeah, there was an article saying where the uh, city just wasn't worried about uh, the waste disposal causing earthquakes. Let's see, there was a 4.5 to maybe a 4.6. And what was that date? That was on January 19th of this year. And over here we have Kansas City. And a little bit farther down, we got Wichita, Kansas. And there was another 4.0. Uh, that was on the 22nd of June and also a depth of 5 kilometers. So that's pretty shallow, about 3 miles below sea level. All earthquakes are measured from sea level. So, were you sleeping? Did this earthquake wake you up? Did you hear it? If you heard the earthquake before the uh, shaking started, that would have been the P wave, the first wave of the earthquake. And then the actual shaking of the earthquake would have been what they call the S wave. So did you feel this earthquake? If so, please put it down below. How long did it last? Uh, did you notice things moving? Thank you for watching. Please stay safe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.